Witchers, welcome back to the Witcher Lorecast. This is your host, Tom, or Robots. I'm here with Toasty of Toaster Tonopolisville, or something like that. It's I don't... Toaster Tonvilopolis. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I messed it up. Close. <laughs> so, Close. Hey, Toasty. Hey, man. We're, we have our patrons here today because it's the end of February. And yes, I fa- say February with an extra R in it because that's how it's spelled. I don't know what's wrong with everybody else. Um, but we are doing a special show today because our patrons are not just patrons today. They are monsters. Today is a monster dating game show. And I should have some music in the background. I didn't prepare for the music, but it just occurred to me. It would have been fun to have like a da, da, da kind of thing going on. Uh, but here's what we're going to do today. Check this out. Tosi and I have no idea which monsters they've chosen. And this is going to play out like a game show, like the dating show on television, like the old classic one or whatever, where we're going to take turns, though, asking questions that you would ask in the context of potentially wanting to date somebody to get to know them. And they have to answer like they're the monster that they are. And so if they are a monster that likes to eat human remains, then they might say, that's my favorite food, right? Those kinds of things. And then by the end of the game show, Toasty and I will both choose a monster to date, which is weird. Uh, And then we're going to try to figure out which monster each of them is. And we're going to see if we can get that right. So let's welcome, we've got Ben of Tamaria, Genesis, and Let's Not. Welcome, everybody. Everybody just make a monster sound. It doesn't have to be the monster you chose. Ready? Three. Two, one. Ah! Roar. <laughs> nice. Okay. Great. That's some wonderful uh, uh, voice acting. Foley work? Is it a little bit of both? I don't know. Uh, but welcome back, everybody. Um, Toasty Toasty is uh, collapsed. He's back up now. Toasty, you, you ready for this? No. No, not at all. Not at all. Do you want to kick this off or sh- should I kick this off? I'll, I'll let you kick it off. Okay. So the premise here is I'm going to ask a question and then each of you in turn gets a chance to answer the question and I get to choose who wants to, who gets to answer it first. And then we're just kind of going, going to go from there. So how about this? All right. All right. Monsters, monsters behind the curtain <laughs> or whatever. Uh, nice to meet all of you. Um, can you give me a quick little, a little, just a little hello and uh, tell me, tell me about something that you really enjoy doing in your spare time. And let's start, let's start with let's, let's not. Oh man. Nice to meet you. Nice to me. Hello. Hello. Hi. What do you like uh, to do in your, in your free time? Oh, I, you know, I just like, uh, you know, it's kind of like a classic answer. It's like a little bit overrated, but like, I just like long walks in the forest you know just hanging out with nature nice okay just hanging out in the forest of nature all right so that sounds good forest. that sounds good I, I like that too okay uh genesis nice to meet you what <laughs> what kinds of things do you enjoy doing in your spare time i hello i really like to dance any opportunity i get i go dancing wow okay I, yeah i like dancing too all right ben Ben, uh, well, uh, welcome to the show, I guess, and, and nice to meet you. What, what do you enjoy doing? Hello, and I like messing with the mortals of this realm. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know that I do that, but well, maybe, maybe I guess I do do that. I don't. Doesn't everybody mess with mortals in some way? Uh, all right, Toasty, your turn. Your turn. What you get to ask a question? Oh, jeez. All right. This is ridiculous already. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so you know, it's 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 time for that first date. What what a, what is your idea of of a, like an ideal first date? You got to pick who do you want to ask oh, first? Ben, we'll, we'll go back in reverse order. Do you need time to think, Ben? Ideal Are you first date, there, buddy. Okay, Genesis. <laughs> I think a great first date would be a picnic somewhere out on an open field, maybe next to an orchard, and we could pick apples together afterwards. A nice picnic. Sounds really, that sounds really pleasant. <laughs> Toasty's thinking. He's like, well, yeah. mm-hmm. okay. Ready to move on? Let's. 
Um, I was thinking we could do something a little out there. Uh, have you ever heard of like a rage room? We can just like go to a place and just start breaking like like pots and like like buildings. Maybe if it's like a, if it's a big one, you know. Just you know, just just like really like tear up the town. Tear up the town. Sounds like sounds like fun. sounds like a party. Let's let's just let sounds dangerous. She's a little bit on the wild side. <laughs> okay. Um, going around a village, messing with people, and getting free food. Free food. Okay. Going around a village, messing with people, and getting f- free food. Okay. Um, you feel you feel good about this one, Toasty? Toasty's trying to figure it out still. Uh, I don't so know. I don't know what already, they are yet either. I'm already thinking. I'm already thinking. So okay. Sorry, okay. I'm thinking too hard about. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, here I'll I'll take a turn. Um, I uh, I I am attracted to people who um who have who have goals and who are are fairly driven. You know, they like to achieve things. What would what would you consider to be your greatest achievement, Genesis? Oh, uh, my greatest achievement so far has been uh, maintaining my crops. Uh, I have a pretty substantial farming area, and I've maintained it and protected it quite well. Wow, that's a that's a tough job. That takes a lot of work. That's that's impressive. All right, Ben, what's your greatest accomplishment so far? Being able not to have to work or even <laughs> supply myself in a day in my life. Wait, oh, so you're like, you're retired early. Impressive. <laughs> okay. Early retirement. Nice. Let's not. What about you? Your greatest, greatest accomplishment? Um, I would have to say, you know, just being able to like you know, stand up for my friends. Like if you mess with one of my friends, like it's, it's over for you. So like just being able to be there and be like a a, a helpful protective spirit for people who can't, you know, stand Mm. up for themselves. Mm. That's good. Everybody needs, everybody needs a friend they can depend on. That's great. You three, you three seem very, uh, very successful, very, very accomplished. Toasty, do you have a question? (laughs) This is so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> this is beyond ridiculous. I'm it really holding is. back so much laughter. Right <laughs> it really is. It really. You don't have to hold back the laughter. This. This is. Oh man. Um, you know. So it, obviously, a very important thing. Uh, you know, is is eventually. You know, meeting the family, getting to, getting to. To yeah. know the family, um, you know, I just want an idea, you know, what what I'm getting myself into. So, you know, how does how does your family celebrate the holidays? <laughs> celebrate the holidays. Yes. All right. Who, who's going to start first? Uh, ben, Ben, because you skipped the first time last time. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I celebrate the holidays alone. Oh, loner, huh? Okay. okay. Fair enough. All right. All right. I mean, sometimes you don't want to have to deal with in-laws and stuff. I can see that that could be appealing. All right, Toasty, who, who's going to go next? Uh, let's, let's let's move on to you. Um, You know, also kind of just like on my own type thing. Like, again, I'll hang out with my friends. Like, if they call me up, like, we'll go out. We'll like, we'll, you know, get up to something. But like, otherwise, you know, just chilling. Hanging out. Okay. Okay. Just chilling, hanging out. Friendsgiving, maybe. All right, Genesis, you're up. I love big parties. We've got a huge family. So anytime that we all get together, it's a lot of dancing, a lot of feasting, and anyone that can hear the music is more than welcome to join. Hmm. Hear the music. Okay. All right. Well, I've got I've got another question for you. Um, for each of you, uh, if you were to go on uh, a vacation on holiday somewhere, where would be your ideal 
like trip where, where do you want to go on vacation and uh i'm gonna start with let's not let's where would you go on vacation um i'm kind of a homebody so it's like uh you know you know i'm not used to much but like if we go out like i you know keep it somewhere small like like maybe like uh a little like a village we can get like an airbnb we can like hang out bed and breakfast type thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay cute quaint ben where would you go on vacation uh quite honestly i'd be a, a staycation a staycation oh yeah yeah just just time, relax take home. time off and relax at home okay all right genesis yeah i'm kind of not big on leaving my farm either uh i'm pretty tied to the land i can't go too far okay all right everybody everybody's uh not too big on vacation that's cool though i like a good staycation toasty you got a question uh, you know this is this kind of a simple one but you know i i got an old man's sleep schedule so <laughs> i gotta i gotta know what i'm getting into uh would you consider yourself a morning person or more of like a nighttime person or monster <laughs> <laughs> definitely a morning person for me <clears throat> morning person okay who's gonna go next uh, let's mm-hmm. oh go fuck <laughs> <laughs> go ben ben was ready <laughs> oh, uh pretty fluid it could be both Hmm, both okay uh you know i don't have a, i don't have like a specific time of day but like eh, i'd probably say like like midday okay okay <laughs> all right all right so i've got i've got another question for you um when was the last time you found yourself laughing hysterically at something really enjoying a moment finding something really really funny what was the last thing that really made you laugh let's start with ben (laughs) um i love the facial expressions as we do this everyone's like hmm okay probably the other day when uh some villagers tried to annoy me i just laugh at them and they went scared running Oh, so oh, you scared off a bunch of uh, a bunch of terrible people. They must have been terrible people oh, that yeah. were picking on you. That's unfortunate, but it's it's a good thing you were able to scare them off. Okay, all right. Um, let's. When was the last time you laughed hysterically? So there was this one like really funny time where uh, this just random guy rolled up on me in the middle of the woods, and he was like talking big. Like, it was like, yeah, no worries. I can kill you. No problem. You know, humans, monsters, whole thing. Um, and I just slammed him. It's like insane. <laughs> it was not even a fight. So you m- murdered somebody. It was self-defense. Oh, I got you. Right, right. Same kind of thing mm-hmm. Ben was going through. Right. Mm-hmm. But you were real good at it. Yeah. yeah. It was easy. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm not messing with you. Awesome. Uh Genesis? Oh man, there was this one time I decided to dance and I was just feeling the music and this other guy saw me dancing and joined and he danced and danced so much that he ended up passing out and dying in the midday sun. And that was just so funny that he couldn't keep up with me. Oh goodness. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's also dark. Wow. I guess you're monsters, so I should have expected that these would be kind of dark. All right, Toasty, you got you got another question for our for our um, guests. Oh man, um, well, for one, I'm pretty sure I have all of you pegged now. Um, uh, interesting, interesting. I mean, I know for a fact I have Genesis for sure, um, but anyways. Um, you know, it's it's kind of important, and maybe maybe not to. So I'm just curious to see your take. Maybe you 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 do this or don't, or but you know, if you were gonna donate to a charity, what kind of charity would you pick? Who are you gonna pick first? I just 
Mm, they I give them a sec because they all look like they're debating <laughs> quite furiously. So this honestly, is a weird question for monsters. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. You don't have to give yeah. like a specific chair. I would donate give, like, to a, a food pantry. To a food okay. pantry. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Genesis. I. Yeah, I mean, definitely with the crops and everything that we have around, I could see donating some of that extra food. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm a big like animal rights kind of like a supporter. So some sort of uh, not PETA, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Society. Yeah, the Humane yeah, Society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I've got I've got a big one for you. This is this is a big one. Mm. Uh, we've we've decided I picked you, and we're going to go out on our our first real big date. And you're taking me out, so you want it to be super impressive, like best date you could come up with. What would be the most romantic, awesome date for taking either me or Toasty out on? What would you do? Let's start with, uh, let's start with Jen. Oh, a big day. A big date. Just like it could be at whatever time of day, it doesn't matter, but a big date, like something romantic. What would be your most romantic date to really impress somebody on the first date? I envision... Oh, okay. So I'm going to make a scavenger hunt for us. We'll start at the crack of dawn and I've hidden clues all throughout my little area and you've got to find them. And that may involve running through the cornfields <laughs> or over by the wheat, finding all the little locations that have been really special to us throughout the last six months or so that we've been dating. And now you'll you might find a a wedding veil or you might find uh little hints and things that eventually leads to me at the end standing there with a ring wow that's the big wow thing. oh that's that's fun that's fun that's i mean that's very romantic okay a scavenger hunt to get married to yeah get engaged. marriage scavenger hunt okay Ben, let's go with Ben. I would have a candlelight dinner at my place with a lot of food and ale. A lot of food and ale. Okay. All right. So a big feast. You're talking big feast, candlelit. Nice. That sounds that sounds very nice. Okay, let's. I don't know. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh you know uh keep it simple you know I don't, I don't have like a lot of money or anything like that so like we can just like go on a walk in the forest like take a hike uh maybe like travel to see like, like see like some sort of like uh maybe like a lake in the middle of like the forest like this really pretty area and we have the whole place to ourselves and we just kind of like swim and and it's just like not much of a talker but like just like enjoying each other's company that sounds that sounds really nice that sounds really again simple but but romantic very nice toasty do you have another question <laughs> <laughs> so you know we we all have our, our our good days or bad days um it, it, you know say 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 you had like a really particularly you know awful day you're not feeling great what what could I do to help you de-stress from that day? That's a good question. Good question, Toasty. Good question. All right, who are you gonna ask first? Is this family feud? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm with you. I think that's a good question. Good, good answer, question. Good that's, answer. Good that's how game shows go. Everybody on game shows is like very positive and helpful to each other, even when they're opposite teams or whatever. Um, so who, who are you gonna ask first? Um, we'll go with Jin. I don't have a pattern here. I'm just randomly picking people. Yeah. Yeah. After a really long, stressful day, I just feel like my muscles are in total knots and that I am 
too big for my skin i would love just like a nice really good deep back massage with like maybe some essential oils or like a really relaxing lotion something like that give me a nice long back massage Mm. that would help me relax Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay (laughs) let's look good eating What's up? Those two just falling apart. It's your turn. <laughs> it's my no, turn. Ben and yeah. I were having the same reaction because we're both very aware and just the idea. But anyways, <laughs> let's all right, all right, all right. So hear me out. This is all about being honest, and I, I like. I feel like sometimes bringing up like your red flags at the beginning is, is like a it's 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 healthy to do just so everyone knows what they're getting into. Um, mm-hmm. Mushrooms. <laughs> like you've ever heard of, if you've ever heard of something called devil's puffball it just like always like, like really just like just takes all the fight right out of me <laughs> just mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> there's a method to my fair madness enough. i'm so sorry <laughs> okay. Fair enough. okay all right <laughs> then you're you're the last one <laughs> uh i tend when i get stressed and have a long day i tend to stress eat so just have a supplement a supply of food <laughs> just lots of food lots of food okay all right um I've, I've got another question for you uh it's important in relationships to uh to have each other's back and being as i'm a human and you are all monsters if we ended up in a dangerous situation and my life was threatened uh what describe you know let's say by uh, some bandits or, or some 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 really terrible people. Uh, describe what you would do to protect me. Let's start with Ben. I would look at them and they would run. Ooh, you just give them just give them the look. Yep, just the look. Okay. Can you show us what the look looks like? That's a good question. Yeah, just out of curiosity. Yeah, can you do the look? Can we see how scary the look is? Are you doing the look right now? Oh, that was the look. Okay. okay. All right. My, my, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm shaking in my boots. Um, uh, let's go ahead and you can go next. Um, uh, you know, there would be bandits at the beginning. And then once I showed up, there probably wouldn't be bandits anymore. Like I just take care of them like that. Yeah. But how, how would you take care of them? Like what would, what, how would you dispatch the enemy? hit them really hard until they become paste (laughs) okay (laughs) nice all right jen so i have this kind of special ability um i hope you like being in a relationship with multiple people because i can make copies of myself Mm. and doing so those copies can consume the life force of those around me making me even stronger so all of the bandits will just get sucked up into dry little husks that sounds sexy and terrifying all at the same time wow okay that's what i do that's that's what you do all right well we we're getting close to the middle of the show we need to take a break do we want to take a quick little Little, do we want to end this now? I know we've asked a lot of questions, Toasty. Do you want to? You want to pick? You want to pick somebody and try to determine who they are, and then we can come back and chat some more after the midbreak. Uh, I mean, sure. Okay. I, I guess. I, I mean, I can go with the very easy, very strong uh, of of Jin, who is definitely the noon rate. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You got it. Good one. Good one. Noon Wraith. All right. Do you have a, do you want to guess the other two? I think I'm going to hold off a bit. I think I'm going to hold off a bit. You Tom, gonna, do you have any you hold off? I think let's is a, uh, oh crap. The word just, uh, a lesson. I think you're a lesson. Forest. You can, and I, I can't confirm so. nor deny at the moment. Okay. Right. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong then. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, you're wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was kind yeah. of on the same wavelength. Yeah, and the, you know, threw in the devil's puffball, and that that threw everything out the window. Yeah, kind of, kind of went away. I think maybe <laughs> Ben's a troll. Ben, are Don't you a troll? Look at the bestiary. 
Are you a troll, Ben? Nope. He's not a troll. Okay, so I'm. I, I, I'm not a troll. I, I had the noon wraith also, but I, I didn't get the other two right. Right. Hey, and Crow is here. Crow, welcome, Man, welcome. Crow, we a new contestant. Enters new the contestant new enters. Hand touches All right. speaking. We're going to get Crow no. up to speed, and we're going to ask him some of the. We're trying to remember some of the questions we asked, and we're going to ask him some of the questions. You, Crow, you need to have in mind which monster you are, and then you need to answer the questions like you're that monster when we when we ask them but we'll we'll give you some time to think about this and we're gonna go thank our patrons and we'll be right back very well let us get this over with something has infested my vineyard mm -hmm. great let me go prepare my something oil then all right we're in the middle of the show which means we get to thank these people these wonderful people right here with us our wonderful patrons and the other 15 well 15 total patrons who are supporting the show so thank you to so much to all of you and ben of tamaria and jared m thank you for being our higher vampires to get shout outs every week we don't have any new ones this week but if you'd be interested in helping to support the show and getting ad free episodes and starting next week the next year of shirts and stickers that come out which i'm going to upload on the website next week be ready for that so uh if you're tier four you get a shirt every three months if you're tier three you get stickers every three every three months if you're tier five you also get the tier four reward so that's how it works um so go check everything out at patreon.com slash witcher lorecast you can get ad free episodes and all sorts of things depending on the tier that you sign up for and uh i would also be reading out a new review but we don't have any new ones this week so if you'd like to leave us a rating a five star rating and a review on apple podcasts we'll read it out on a future episode of the show or you can rate us on Spotify if you listen on there or whatever platform you're listening to us on. So all of that stuff is extremely helpful. But tell you what, we got to get back and we got to we got to try and figure out who Crow is. So let's get back to the dating show. Here we go. You smell of death and destiny, heroics and heartbreak. It's on you now. Right, yeah. All right, we're back. Uh, Toasty, do you remember what some of the questions were that we asked? That we can get, maybe get, toss a few to Crow um, and, and kind of get up, up to speed man, with him? We asked uh, quite a few, you know, like ideal dates, uh, you know, a charity you would donate to. Let's start uh, with the ideal date. Pastime. Yeah, let's start. Uh, Crow, if, if you were to take out one of us let's say we choose you you take out one of us on your on, on a on a big date your, to your favorite location or whatever whatever you, whatever you think is the most romantic date that you can you could ever set up what would it be describe the date and make sure you're unmuted when you talk yeah about there you go <laughs> um so i would probably take us out to the bay of a river get to uh walk along the shoreline uh maybe meet a couple of my friends and uh yeah just enjoy the the smell of the water <clears throat> possibly stop off at a dock for some fishing or something like that it's a fishing date fishing fishing by the shore all right pretty simple okay um what were some of the other ones oh what about holidays we had the question about holidays do you, how, how, what do you do for holidays? Do you celebrate holidays? Do you get together with your family? How does that work? Yeah, uh, definitely celebrate holidays very similar. Like no matter what the holiday is, it's just a big group of uh, friends and family getting together, you know, maybe for a meal, just enjoying each other's company. Right. Big party. Okay. Big, big getting together for family parties yeah, kind of we're, thing. We're not... Like we're not big fans of like outsiders joining it though. Like you got to be in with us to uh, to attend. Yeah, close knit group. I get that. Okay, Toasty. What was one of the other questions? Do you remember? You said uh, Sorry, my brain is recovering from a sneeze. You said um, uh, donate. Do you, um, if you were to donate money somewhere, if you were to be charitable, what would you donate? What kind of cause would you donate to? Probably like a. Uh, nature preservation sort of charity okay all right do you have any other thoughts any other questions um i think it was one of uh you know if uh what was the the how would you defend yeah so okay so if you're it, we're we're you know human and monster 
and sometimes people aren't too happy with mixed relationships, right? And they can get kind of violent. Let's say you come across a bunch of scumbags and they decide to attack me or Toasty, whoever you're on the date with. What would you do? How would you defend us? Make us feel safe? Um, definitely have more of like a mostly mob mentality whenever it comes to like the way that I fight. Um, usually it's hard pressed to find me not at least having a couple of my buddies around. So you'd call um, on your buddies to come help, help defend everybody. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, maybe a distant cousin that's like similar lives around the same area as us mm -hmm. there. They could be a real pain to deal with. Yeah. So crow is in the mafia, everybody. Um, okay. Any other questions you can remember toasty? Uh, how, how, what, what could I do to help you de-stress after a long day? This is an 18 plus like podcast. Oh. Right here, <laughs> the, smirk, the moment the smirk happened. That was like, oh yeah. no. My answer was mushrooms. So honestly, <laughs> just go ahead and do whatever. This is going to be worse than mushrooms. Okay. I already know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just going to say like maybe uh, skinny dipping at the bayou. Mm. Be a nice old giggity. <laughs> relaxing swim. <laughs> what? Meme Seeker in chat says giggity. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I've got a new question for everybody. We've got, we've got, we, we've figured out who Jen is so far. We figured that out. Uh, mm -hmm. But Jen, you can still answer this if you want. Um, what could, what would I do or could I possibly do that would, you would see as an absolute deal breaker? Like, oh, where everything's going fine. We've been going on some dates. We really like each other. And then I all of a sudden mess up. What would I have to do to mess up for you to be like, ah, this is over. We're done. Let's do you have an answer for this? One? I feel I like do, you do. It's going to give me away immediately. Oh, no. Oh, Go no. <laughs> so I have, look, if you mess with animals in any way, if you hurt them, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> okay. Like the other people that we've talked about, you'll just like yeah, pound, them, pound them into mush. Big, uh, yeah, just big pace. <laughs> just pace. Done for it. Done. Okay. I'd like to solve the puzzle, Alex. <laughs> uh, well, you guys don't like get to solve. A... You guys don't get to solve. Oh, it has okay. to be me and Toasty. Um, all right. All right. Uh, Jen, what, what would be a deal breaker? Uh, look, I had already proposed to you before, and if you stand <laughs> me up at the altar, uh-uh, nope, I'm coming to haunt you even further. That sounds about right. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Ben, what's a deal breaker for you? Not letting me eat or drink as much as I want. Getting in the way of your food? Yes. Okay. Hmm, we might have to ask what kind of food. All right, Crow, what's a deal breaker for you? You got to unmute. Um, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. I saw yeah. your mouth started to go and I was like, uh oh, no, I was making popping sounds. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, probably try to separate me from like my friends and family. Oh, I'll take you away like, from everybody. Don't. Yeah. Don't isolate me. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Toasty, can we ask them what their, what their favorite food is? I was I was gonna ask it. Yeah, let's ask that. All right. Ask, like, you know, you know, you had to pick a meal. Right. Would... All right. So if we're we're having a romantic dinner and I'm making dinner for you, what would you want me to serve to you for this for your for this very special dinner? Anybody? Anybody know Sp specifically? Everyone ready? Let's. I saw you unmute. Are you ready? Um. Oh, I guess you're just always I, unmuted. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh. I'll eat just about anything. It's it's more about what I won't eat, and I'm not a big fan of like red meats. Yeah, just don't serve like, don't serve else, you the animal friends. <laughs> yeah, anything okay. else, honestly, is fair game. All right, all right. Veggie platter. Yeah. Okay. All Little right. crudite. Yeah, sure. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ben, are you ready? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a picky eater, so I'll eat whatever. But is there, but like, is there anything that like, even just a type of food? Like if I gave you a bunch of fruit, would you be like, ah, I wish I had some meat or would you like, nope, I'll eat anything. Anything. Okay. Anything. Anything. All right. Jen. Yeah. I'm not a big eater, 
So I would say, you know, like some simple light dishes would probably be best for me. Uh, but you go ahead and eat whatever you want. I'm good. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, Crow? <laughs> uh, probably any type of just raw fish that might be a little bit out of date. Okay. Some old sushi? <laughs> Serve you some old sushimi? It's been sitting out for a day? Yeah, especially, I mean, you, don't, you can skip the sushi part, too. Just throw fish, like, on a hot stone, let it sit there for a week, and then that's bone appetite for me. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. All right. Toasty, do you want to guess, or do you want to ask some more questions? I think I go with, hmm. 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 If you don't want if you're not sure, you can always ask another question. I'm trying to think of what, what question. What question could I ask to really give me an idea? That's the thing. Mm. I well, here's I, I can throw another question out there. You wanna do another question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go uh, ahead. All right. Ahead. So um to uh obviously we're having this conversation and we're potentially going on a date so you're being super sweet to me even though i'm a human uh the humans that you don't like what what do you sound like when you're trying to scare them away or you're angry at them like what what is your what is your scary voice like this is clearly your nice friendly voice but what is your scary scary voice like let's start with jen <laughs> Oh, Jen, uh, there you go. I was going to try and actually do the Banshee Whale, but I don't <laughs> know if I can do that. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I, I get very loud when I'm angry. Okay. Okay. Got it. Ben, you want to go? What's your scary voice? Ben's cracking up. He's like, he's like getting ready to do it, and then he's and then he's cracking up. Well, do that again. It didn't really come through the mic very well. Oh no. Yeah, do it again. <clears throat> it's just all we hear is. Oh, I say go away. It's a deep, gruff voice. Wow, it's weird that it gets. It's like getting like filtered out. So go away, like real yeah. low. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, um, let's jump to Crow. Crow. I don't want to attempt it. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Just, just, give, just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Uh, uh, hey, I tried. You have to try. Yeah. You can do it. Mine's going to be picked up. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, kind of like a... Like, or maybe even gruffer than that, but like very guttural just... Mm. Non-verbal. It's like whenever you accidentally bump into a dude that's way wasted. Like there's no actual <laughs> verbal communication going on. It's just grunts and growls. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. Let's. What's your What's your scary voice sound like? I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. I'm not gonna <laughs> see if my mic picks it up. <laughs> that was amazing. Mm. That was so good. I try. I tried to uh, look it up on YouTube. <laughs> it wasn't my turn, and I couldn't find a good version of it, unfortunately. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. What do you think, Toasty? You got guesses? Uh, you know, I I don't think my guesses are as confident as they were. Well, we can, you can take a swing. We can take a swing at this. I think. I think, I think it, it might be time. I'm not sure we're going to get too many other I think good so. questions. Yeah. In. Yeah. I think so. Probably. All right. You want to take a swing? I mean, Crow came in with the real heavy like drowner energy. So I was thinking drowner too. Are you a drowner, yeah. Crow? Yes, but I have a great personality. Okay. All right. We're definitely sure about that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, All right. So we got a drowner. We got the noon wraith. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you think about mm -hmm. Ben or Let's? Mm. 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 I'm, I'm still not sure about either of them. Yeah. I'm a little like, 
I'm trying to think. Ben, are you a werewolf? No, he's some sort of no. monster that's which really a, hungry. Which is a surprise for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like, I mean, my, initially I was really feeling like the godling energy, and now I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Um, I definitely think he's like kind of like a relic. I'm, I'm gonna guess Sylvan. Finally, for me. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep. You got it. Yeah. Toasty got Sylvan. it. <laughs> Sylvan. Okay. Yeah, we kind of we kind of got there, but it was like, ugh. Yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, let's see. You're the only one left, so we don't know. Oh, man, what do, where do you feel, Toasty? What do you think? I re I'm really not. I feel like I should know, and I feel I'm sure somebody's listening to this episode going, "It's clearly this," but for some reason, I'm just not coming up with it. A dragon? Think- Are you a dragon? No. Okay, you're something big, I think. You live in a can forest. I, like, you very, love animals. Like, can I give you? A, can I give you a hint? Like, well, can I ask that, a question that yeah, might, that ahead. will be a hint? Um, are you are you a relic? Yes. Okay. I'm like between two very big smashing buildings. You didn't mention a certain thing, so it makes me lean short. I am a short. Wow. Okay. There you go. I got my, I got my Gwent card. Nice. All right. Very cool. Awesome. Awesome. I was going to say I was part of the bovine defense unit. <laughs> that was going to be my hand. The bovine defense unit. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wow. I did better than I thought. I did I was- <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Toasty, who would you choose to date based on not on based not not necessarily knowing on which monster they are, but on their answers? Mm. Like forest, mm. kind of homebody, simple, uh, water likes dead fish, likes to hang out with the group, um, eats a lot, no, like, <laughs> scares people. Yeah, like uh, yeah, farmer, well, very gotta, romantic, like, but definitely spiteful if you don't come through with the marriage. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i, I gotta like I'm, I, i'll am i probably start by like narrowing these down so like i gotta start uh you know like you came in real fast with like the marriage energy uh, you know like you immediately put it on me it's a lot of pressure hey she and- said after six months she did say that uh, <laughs> this, this True. is fair um <laughs> Six but, months you know, in the Witcher universe is a long time if your relationship survives. <laughs> That's, <laughs> true. Survive. That's true. Um, exactly. Yeah, it is, you know, it's just yeah, sorry, it's not it's not gonna work out there. Um Crow It's the skin, isn't it? <laughs> it's the that skin. I'm a real yeah, introvert. Given, given that back rub, it just gave me chills. Yeah, the idea of doing that, I was like, dear God, is all. Oh, my God. Um, you know, I'm a real introvert. I'm not, like, I don't really do groups a whole lot. You know, it's a hard, it's, it's, it's rough. And it sounds like your friends are going to be with us all the time. You know, sometimes I just want some, like, alone time, some quality alone time. So, like, mm-hmm. it's it, that's not really going to pan out. I'm, Honestly, I'm, sorry. I'm surprised that Jen got knocked out before me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a median. Like, <laughs> given mine and, well, mine and toast. We have history, to pretend. I I'm honestly, I immediately cut out. <laughs> honestly, I went for Jen first because I felt like it would have just been me bullying Crow again if I went with you first. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally the thought in my brain was like, if I pick crow first, it's going to be such a trend. Hmm. Remember, when you're, you're picking mostly personality connection, it doesn't, it's like any weirdness of like physical monster stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, no. all of them are like not appealing on some level. Right. But uh, <laughs> like personality you know. wise. Mm. You got it. You got to pick something. We're on a podcast, so you have to say things yeah, like he, I just gotta, I gotta ask, I gotta ask, you know, like, is, is, is meat entirely out of the situation for me? Let's, if, if we pursue this. Just not cows. Just Anything not but cows. cows. They're too it, friend shaped. I love the cows. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with you fucking cow shaped fucking bullshit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is a very specific thing for let's, and I can't help it. Anyways. 
God. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so, I, is that I a deal breaker? Purely, it's not a deal breaker, but I do think purely on the foundation of I really do like to mess with people a lot, and it seems like Ben is offering a very good avenue for me to you know, it's a fun enjoyable activity together uh, so i think i'll have to go with ben on this one congratulations you guys get to go on a date congratulations yeah nice um i'm gonna pick uh this will probably be the death of me but the noon wraith because she seems the most ready for a relationship <laughs> But if the date All doesn't right. go so good and I decide to not continue, I might just be murdered. So I guess I'll just have to I'm, take a risk on that one. I am looking to settle down. I'm not out here to dis- date, just date. I'm looking for the rest of my life. Yeah. So that's, that's a that's, say a chance of getting murdered is life. like. <laughs> I, I mean, it's on the table anyway. for any one of us. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Well, I guess just meaning in general. Like, yeah, it's always also that true. slight also chance. True. Also, yes, also true. Guys, this was awesome. This was so wacky and weird and fun. We might have to play this again in the future. So uh, maybe we can reverse it. Maybe we can have you guys be the contestants and Toasty and I can like answer questions for different monsters. And then we can like play it the other way around. That might be a lot of fun too. Um, but tell you what, we got to wrap up the episode. Let's go through everybody and feel free to share anything you've got going on that you want to tell people about or how, how people can reach out to you. Let's start with Ben. Ben. Yeah. So you can find me on uh, my own two podcasts, Holocron history, Star Wars Canon versus legends to where we take a deep dive and go over the differences between both pre Disney and post Disney. And then I have my Wizarding World lore cast to where we take a deep dive into the Wizarding World and all the Harry Potter lore. Um, A big game just recently dropped and it's great. And we do stream those on my own Twitch channel at Ben of Tamaria, where I hopefully will be start doing game streams and sometime in the future. So we'll see about that. Yeah, go check that stuff out. Cool stuff, Ben. Thanks for joining us again. Jen, I know you also have stuff. I do. I also have two shows that are part of the network. Two Girls, One Ship that analyzes video game romances. We are currently covering Mass Effect 3 characters. And then the Cyberpunk Lorecast with my co-hosty Toasty. (laughs) I bet Toasty loves that. Well, because you said it, he's going to be okay with it. If I said it, he'd be like, he'd make fun of me. (laughs) That's that's the difference. It's Matt either way, Tom. Okay. All right. All right. He's just nicer. Quit being jealous just because Jen and I have better chemistry. So jealous. We have perfect chemistry. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Let's no, not the chemistry again. (laughs) (laughs) Let's uh, (laughs) you got anything you want to share? Uh, yeah, I don't have a podcast, but I am affiliated with two podcasts on the Robots Radio Network. You would probably have seen my work as the cover art for Two Girls, One Ship and the MCU Lorecast. Uh, I am always available for commission. I do uh, logo design, t-shirt design, podcast art design, you know, whatever. Uh, you can just find me on Discord at uh, Let's Not with six L's and an underscore. Nice. That's so awesome. That's so cool. I love I love when people have really cool talents and things and that you've contributed to some of the shows. That's great. Uh, and then Crow, you got anything going on, Crow? Yeah, uh, I also do not have any podcasts, but I also do not actually contribute to any podcast besides <laughs> this one. Um, cool. All right. Cool little fun fact i guess just to share i am crow velen on the discord that's about the only way to get in contact with me uh two weeks ago i had to declare my first emergency in flight because i had one of my engines die on me oh geez yeah fun stuff everything's cool. uh, did, did, ooh, did you have like is there like a backup engine or did you just have to glide down or like what well, i was flying a, i was flying a plane with two engines okay good but good. unfortunately i died so sucky um, yeah sad day i'm so sorry for you so wait, 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 wait. You are you are coming to us as a ghost to be on the podcast and pretending to yes, be a different monster to be a drowner than a ghost. Yes. Got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I hope you uh, come back to life. I guess well, if that's uh, a good thing. Soon, Get well uh, soon. Get well soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll sleep it off. Um, no, actually, another 
cool little plan for the future for me is given a couple months, I would be moving up to Alaska to start wow. flying up there. Wow. That's quite a thing. I have an uncle who lives in Alaska and has for 30 plus years. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's it's beautiful up there. Con, um, congratulations. That's awesome. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us and chat. Thank you for being here. Toasty, you want to share anything before we head out? Um, like Jen said, we got the, the Cyberpunk lore cast. Um, and I also do the uh, Cyberpunk Red live play podcast, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk apostrophe D. Um, oh, I'm actually wearing the shirt today. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Very cool. And you can check out any of the shows that were mentioned on robotsradio.net. You can find my other shows as well. And we would love to have you join us on a future episode of the podcast. If you want to do a monster dating show like this, all you have to do is sign up on the Patreon and we'll we'll set it up. But uh, thank you again for joining us, everybody, and have a wonderful rest of your week. And until then, stay safe on the path. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Witcher Lorecast. We'd love to hear about your experiences with the games and the books and the TV series and all your thoughts on everything. Please check out the Robots Radio Discord and follow us on Twitter at Witcher Lorecast. You've been listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net.